Mm, madam, what a beautiful scenic environment. I feel so calm. Let me just seize this moment. A peace of mind is my priority. Oh, we are in total zen and away from the hustle and bustle of the city. Yes. <laughs> oh, wait. I wanted to ask you, Farah. Yes, Shabika. Weren't you from Johor previously? Now yes. you came from Kuala Musang. What, what happened? Did you...? Well, I, I got my next transfer. Uh -huh. And yes, previously I was from SMK Bandar Mas Kota Tinggi. But now I've attached to SMK Chiku Dua, oh. Kuala Musang, Kelantan. Wow. Wait, Farah. I'm just enjoying this view. I cannot stand it. It's so yes. beautiful. Seize, seize the moment, Shafika, and we let's enjoy this. the nature. Mm -hmm. <sighs> DD TV KPM. Hi, Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. You're watching Didik TV KPM for our Menengah Atas slot today with me, Shafika Farahin. And for today's slot, we are going to be learning Bahasa Inggeris for Form for Pupils. But as usual, before we start, let's first take a look at our teacher's profile. And there you have it, our teacher for today, as you can see from the profile. But before that, I would like to first introduce our sign language interpreter for today's class, who is Teacher Kulina from SMK Sultan Abdul Samad, Petaling Jaya, Selangor. Hello, Teacher Lina. How are you? <laughs> All right, great. Thanks for being with us here in the studio now. Uh, to talk more about our lesson today, let's have Madam Farah Liza here with me, who is hailing all the way from SMK Chiku Dua, Band Gu Gua Musang, Kelantan. Wow, teacher is so far away from us. Yes. Mm, how, how are, are you, you today? I'm fine, Alhamdulillah. How are you, Shafika? I'm great as well. Now, talking about today's lesson, perhaps before we get on to that, um, just now, we were such in a zen and tranquility mode. Yes. What was that about? Is that something to do with our topic for today, Madam Farah? Definitely, Shafika. Mm. Today we are going to focus on Mother Nature, which is um, which enables us to have a peace of mind, mm. where Mother Nature will forever be the best platform to heal ourselves and get ourselves recharged. Oh, I believe so. And although we weren't really in a, you know, environment, that kind of environment, I felt the peacefulness there. Yes. Mm. Now, Madam, <laughs> what is our topic for today? All right, Shafika. Um, hello, girls and boys viewers out there. Today, we are going to focus on our listening skill Paper 4. Okay, but before that, madam, as usual in our English class, we mm -hmm. have our pupils together who we'll be learning as well. Let's have them on the screen behind me. Hello, pupils. Hi. Hi. Now, madam, yes. perhaps you can introduce Hi. them one by one, please. All right. Okay, we will have the first one in the house. Mm -hmm. um, Muhammad Faizul Akmal bin Muhammad Sinin. Hi. Uh, Hi, Hi Faizul. Hi, madam. Okay. So, how do you want me to address you, Fai Muhammad Faizul Akmal? You can call me Faizul. Okay, okay. Faizul. Okay, Faizul it is. So, the next one, we have Muhammad Adam Hakimi bin Ramli. Hi, Adam. Hello. Welcome. Okay. So, how do you want me to address you? You can just call me Adam. Okay. All right. We have the next one, Nordiana Azmizan in mm -hmm. the house. Hi, Diana. Hi, madam. Okay. So, last but not least, we have Fatin Fatini in the house. Hi, Fatin. Hi, Fatin. Hi, madam. Okay. All right. Thank you for being with us as well. I hope you all are ready to learn today. Now, without wasting any more time, madam, let's get things started. All right. Let's go. All right. Now, girls and boys, viewers out there, today mm -hmm. we are going to focus on listening. And please turn to page um, unit 7 of 
page 97 of your textbook, mm -hmm. which is Mother Nature. And we are going to focus on listening parts here. So we are going to go to these four pages, page 106, as well as the next two pages. Mm -hmm. Now, Shafika, these include um, their sections in their listening paper. Okay. Now, basically, we have four sections, but today we are going to focus only on three sections for the listening paper, guys. All right. All right. So now, girls and boys, viewers out there, when it comes to listening, everybody is aware of what listening is, mm -hmm. but you need to know the skill. They need to know the skill on and the steps right. to actually adapt and to capture those words. It's mm -hmm. not easy. It's not easy and it's not that very difficult after all, mm -hmm. after they have known the steps. Okay. Now, before listening to the audio, yeah, so I've already uh, classified this into three steps. Now, listening skill before they listen to the audio, once they get the question papers, mm -hmm. these are the things that they have to be uh, applying. Yeah. All so right. first is they need to read the question, definitely, everyone knows that. Mm -hmm. But the second part is quickly circle the keywords from the question. Mm -hmm. All right. The next one will be to make sure that the words that they circled, Shafika, yes. needs to be three to five words. Now, what are they do? why are they doing this? so that they can predict what to expect mm -hmm. when the audio begins. All right. All right. Last but not least is to just be prepared when the first round and the second round of the audio begins. Mm -hmm. We're going to have like two rounds normally. Oh, two right? rounds. Okay. So this happens before the audio begins. Mm -hmm. Now, the next part is when the audio is in the first round. So these are the steps that they have to be aware of. First, they need to write the keywords heard from the audio. Remember, the first one, they need to write the keywords from the passage. Mm. The first round, they need to hear carefully and jot down the keywords from the audio. All right. Okay, the next one is they have to relate these keywords from the keywords from the question versus from the audio. Mm -hmm. All right, next, they have to jot down these words. Because Shafika students normally, they will tend to close their eyes and they forget to write down on the question paper. Right. So they will miss out a few lines. Mm -hmm. All right, so after writing down the keywords, all right, and jotting down them on the question paper itself, they need to make sure they have to cross out the options which are not heard. Okay. They are given like uh, MCQ options mm -hmm. A, B, C, D. So they need to immediately cross out the options which are not heard in the first round. Mm -hmm. So in the second round, this is the most important part. They need to look at the slide, tick the options heard. So when you are in the second round, guys, you tick the options heard and you need to choose the best answer. And of course, you need to check your answer. And later, you need to transfer all your answers in the answer sheet. Mm -hmm. So basically, this is the example. Now, before we start, let us just hear the audio for an example before we begin to our steps. All right. So we can just it. listen to the audio. Mm -hmm. Part one, question one. You hear a girl talking about what she did yesterday. I remember that I needed to check my inbox for my assignment notes. My friend reminded me through a text message. There was nothing except the usual product promotions, the annoying ones that want us to buy things. Then I was really bored, so I looked at what people posted online. There were some interesting cat videos on social media. All right. All right. Now, mm -hmm. having said that, the first round, you need to circle the keywords. And when it comes to the uh, next step, you need to actually highlight the need of the question is to hear the word location because the question is where, Shafika. Yeah. So once they have heard the audio, they have to start jotting down mm -hmm. the keywords heard from the audio. Mm -hmm. So can if you see at the screen here, girls and boys, viewers out there, these are the words that you heard from the audio. It chat inbox, text message, mm -hmm. posted online, and cat videos on social media. So when it comes to the second round, that is where you guys need to make, make up your mind and tick the answers that you heard. Remember mm -hmm. the steps that I mentioned? Yes. So these are the two options that they heard from the audio, mm -hmm. social media, and sent emails. And last but not least, you have to choose the best 
when it comes to the final second of the second round? Mm -hmm. So the answer is C. So these are the process and the steps, Shafika, that right. they need to execute in getting the best answer after first and second round. Yes, I believe that as well. And one of the most important things is writing the keywords down and reading the question first before the audio comes, exactly, right? Exactly, exactly. So you have a gist of what you're going to have to uh, catch. Yes. All right, now um, I'm pretty sure we have more to learn after this, so stay tuned on TV KPM. <laughs> KPM. Hi pupils, welcome back to Didi TV KPM and today we are learning Bahasa Inggris and our focus uh, is listening skill. And uh, joining us in the studio, aside from our lovely guest, uh, Madam Farah, is also uh, mm -hmm. our students who mm -hmm. are Fatin, Faisal, Diana and Adam. Now Madam, our segment now is about Mother Earth's Beauty and it's focused on what is it about? All now, right. what is it about for this segment? Okay, for this segment, we are going to focus on the first section that they normally have in their listening paper. Mm -hmm. Now, in the listening paper, Shafika, mm -hmm. first section, we'll be focusing on um, seven different situations with seven different speakers. But for today, we are going to only do five different situations with five different speakers. All right. All right? So, let us begin. So, as usual, the one that I mentioned earlier, we have to like always repeat this again and again and again so everyone gets the main idea and a clearer picture on how to apply these steps for you to get the best answer in listening mm -hmm. skill paper four. Now, for listening skill, again, before the audio begins, these are the things that you need to jot down, guys. Reading the question, circling the keywords from the question, um, keywords has to be like three to five words and definitely you have to expect what to hear when the audio begins. Now, while listening, you have two rounds, guys. The first round, this time, you need to write the keywords heard from the audio. There is a difference, yeah? Now, the next step is to relate those keywords both from the question and the audio. The next part is to write them down. Don't forget to jot down the keywords, guys. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, is to cross out the options not heard. Now, the second round is quite is crucial, I should say crucial, because if you guys, Shafika, if right. some of the students tend to have daydreaming mm -hmm. or get sleepy when they were too focused and when yes. they tend to close their eyes, second choice, when they go to second round, if you miss out the first round, you will screw up. Oh, no. All right? So second round is where you need to think of the keywords from both question and audio. And you have to tick the options that you heard. Mm -hmm. And definitely, you must choose the best answer and transfer all the answers back to the answer sheets. Okay. All right. So now, let us look at the question here, girls and boys. Mm -hmm. Now, first thing of all, you need to circle the keywords before the audio begins. So now, girls and boys, viewers out there, let us look at the question. And after reading the question, now, who would like to share us your keywords? From question number one, anyone in the house? Okay, who would like to volunteer first? Can I try, madam? Okay, Adam, that's you. So what are the keywords that you can give us from the first question, Adam? My keywords for number one, why mother angry son? Okay, why mother angry son? Good. It's three to five words, guys. Mm -hmm. eh? But sometimes they can survive with only having three keywords. It's okay. up to them. All yeah, right. It's on their own understanding, different levels. Minimum right? three. Minimum three, maximum five. Mm -hmm. So these are the keywords mentioned by Adam. Good job, Adam. All right. Now, let us look at the second question. What can be the keywords? Anyone in the house wants to give it a shot? Anyone? Who's next? Can I give a shot, Mid? Okay. Give it a shot, Diana. So what are the keywords for question number two, Diana? My keywords are what, talking and about. What, talking about. So they just look for the necessary words. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So what, talking 
about. So they have to listen what is it about and they have to, un they have to look for the reasons why the mother got angry. Mm -hmm. Now, let's go to the third question. So who can give me uh, the keywords for question number three? Anyone in the house? Can I give a try, madam? Okay, Faisal. Okay, Faisal, what are the keywords from question number three, Faisal? The keywords are how, machine, powered. Okay, how, machine, powered. Three words there, Shafika. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, let's go to the next one. Good job, Faisal. Now, can I have the next one, please? Share me your keywords for question number four. Can I share, madam? Yes, Fatin. So, what are the keywords, Fatin? The keywords are what learn fossil fuels. What right. learn fossil fuels. So Four only look keywords. for the crucial words, okay, guys? Mm -hmm. All right, now we have come to the last question. What are the keywords, guys? Anyone wants to give it a try? Can I try, madam? Yes, Faisal again. That's good. Okay, mm -hmm. Faisal. What are the keywords, Faisal? The keywords are Appliance and eco-friendly. Appliance, eco-friendly. Two words. Huh? Whatever words with hyphen is considered as one, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now, having said that, let us listen to the audio. And stay focused. And first round, jot down the keywords that you hear from the audio, guys. All right. Okay, so let's hear the audio then. Mm -hmm. Listen. You will hear people talking in five different situations. For questions one to five, choose the best answer, A, B or C. One. Good morning, dear. Morning, Mum. Uh, excuse me, what are you doing? What do you mean? What did you just put in that bin? My rubbish? That's the recycling bin, you know. Really? I thought it was the big blue one. It's an easy mistake to make. Take out your food scraps. All right. Two. Did you see that documentary last night? Yes, wasn't it awful? I know. Just imagine what it's like where we live. There are loads of factories around here. You're right. They're working day and night pumping out poisonous fumes. And where do they end up? In the atmosphere. Exactly. And when it comes down, it's not only the trees that it harms. Think about the buildings and the ancient ruins. We should start a campaign to close down the factories. What do you think? You reckon? I suppose it can't hurt to try. Three. So, let's have a look at your invention, Andrew. It's over here. Wow. Impressive looking. Does it work? Well, I took it out to sea yesterday and it worked fine. Does it need to be in water to work? I don't think so. As long as it's sunny, it works perfectly. It doesn't really work very well when it's windy, though. Will that be a problem? I hope not. Four. Hi, Claire. How was your science lesson? It was pretty interesting, actually. You're kidding. I know, it's hard to believe. We're doing a big project about the environment. And today we learned about fossil fuels. Mr. Walker told us that it takes millions of years to create fossil fuels and we're using them up a lot faster than they're being produced. What will we do when there are none left? We should use alternative energy, really. That's what we're learning about in the next lesson. Five. You have a lovely house, Marsha. Thanks. Let me show you the kitchen. Nice. Well, I think it could do with a few new things. The oven is the same one that was here when I moved in. I need to change that. The fridge and the washing machine are quite new. My brother gave them to me when he moved house. Did he give you this dishwasher too? No, that's the only thing that I've bought recently. It was quite expensive, but it uses much less water than other similar models. That's good. Well, I like to think I'm doing my bit for the environment. Yes, and you have a lovely view of the garden from here. All right. Wow. Now, now mm -hmm. if you look at the 
audio the tracks yeah they right. have different situations so now let's see what our friends back here will share us their answers mm -hmm. and perhaps they have their reasons why they chose that particular answer yes. right now right. who wants to give it let me see just now adam mm -hmm. was it adam well anyone can give me answer who, who wants to give it a shot adam looks ready uh the first answer anyone all right. Can I give a shot, Adam? Yes, Adam. So, what is your answer, Adam? My answer for number one is A. Okay, why did you choose A, Adam? Because of keyword from the audio, uh, wrong bin. Yes, because the word recycle bin. So, the son actually put it in the wrong bin. Yes. Good job, Adam. Mm -hmm. So, now, the next one. Who wants to give it a shot? The second answer. Anyone? Can I try, madam? Yes, Diana. What is the answer, Diana? The answer is B, acid rain. Yes, acid rain. Remember, the, the, the speaker mentioned about atmosphere. Uh, it released to the atmosphere, mm -hmm. and it, yeah. when it comes down, it becomes acid rain. Very good, Diana. All right, the next one, number three. Who can that be? Can I answer, madam? Yes, Faisal. All right, what is your answer, Faisal? The answer is B, solar power. Okay, solar power. Why did you answer B, Faisal? Because of the keyword sun from the audio. Exactly. The keyword was sunny and sun. So mm -hmm. it is related to solar. Good job, Faisal. All right, question number four. Mm -hmm. What is the answer? Anyone? Can I try, madam? Yes, Fatin. What is your choice, Fatin? My, my answer is A. They want less forever. Very good. Shafika, did you notice mm -hmm. that the ones they heard from the audio yes. are not exactly the word that they see in the option? They're not. But they need to really understand that is the important reason why they should identify the keywords mm -hmm. so that they would expect to hear the idea of not lasting forever. Yes. Because it was not exact word, right? Yes, from the it's audio. like a synonym. There. Yes, exactly. So, mm -hmm. good job, Fatin. A it is, spot right. on. The last now, the one. last question. Who can that be? Eco-friendly. Can I give a try, madam? Yes, Faisal. Now, what's your answer, Faisal? The answer is B. This was it. Exactly. Now, Shafika, again, did you notice that the speaker actually mentioned oven yes. and also dishwasher? So, if students get lost mm -hmm. and they heard oven and they did not hear, dishwasher, mm -hmm. they would choose the wrong answer. Yes, if so, they were in a hurry to yeah, answer. Exactly. So that's why you need to have the first round and the second round. Mm -hmm. Good job, guys. All good right, job. Good job. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good, good job. job. Good, good job. job. Good job. All right, all right. I can see why it's important to jot down because it goes through all the questions in just one go. Exactly. All right, pupils, we're going for a short break as usual. And we'll be right back here on DDTV TV KVM. <laughs> TV KPM. Ah, you heard the bell, so class is in session. Welcome back to the TV KPM for our Menengah Atas slot with Madam Faraliza and also our lovely pupils. Okay. Now, Madam, yes. for this segment, it's about keep in mind. So, what is, what, is, what is it that we have to keep in our mind right now? All right, thank you, mm. Shafika. Now, for the second segment, guys, it will be similar to your sec, uh, section two of your listening paper four. So keep in mind here means it's not as easy as the first part, Shavika, mm -hmm. where they need to listen to all the um, questions and they need to be ready with executing all the steps mentioned in the earlier slides. Right. All right? So that is what keep in mind means there. All right, now let us proceed to the next slide. Everyone, please turn to page 106 of your textbook. Mm -hmm. We are going to go to the next part of your listening practice. So again, let me just repeat this quickly, briefly. Before, these are the things that you have to be aware of. Read the questions, circle the keywords from the question. 
you need to make sure it's three to five words and you need to expect what to hear when you look at the questions later. Mm -hmm. Now, while listening, first round again, let me repeat this again and again. I'll never get bored doing this, Shafika. Right. You have to write the keywords from the audio. The first one, keywords from the question. The second one, keywords from the audio. Mm -hmm. And then you need to relate them. This is where the thinking process starts. All right? Mm -hmm. Okay, next is to write, jot down the words. Only relevant words. You don't need to write every single word, but just write the words which are related to the keywords earlier. Mm -hmm. All right? And of course, you need to cross out immediately the options not heard. Mm -hmm. So the second round, guys, it's a little bit challenging if you are having this blurness and you're totally lost mm -hmm. in the first round. So a second round will be a comeback. You need to tick the words that you heard and you choose the best answer and definitely transfer them in your answer sheets. Okay, okay so now let us begin. Turn to page 106 from your textbook. We shall look at the questions and first round before the audio, you need to circle the keywords. Okay, guys, anyone in the house would like to share the keywords for the first question? Anyone? First question, guys. All right, like anyone to wants to give it a shot? Mm -hmm. I think they're... Yeah, try right now. Yes, okay. okay, Faisal. So what are the keywords for the first question, Faisal? The keywords are how, long, plastic bottle, and bi biodegrade. 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 All right, so you have four keywords there. Mm -hmm. So how, long, plastic bottle, biodegrade. Okay, mm -hmm. five words there. Okay, good. So what about the next one? What are the keywords? Anyone in the house? Can I answer, madam? Yes, Diana. What are the keywords, Diana? My keywords are after oil spill, how much oil and recovered. Okay, so after oil spill, how much recovered. Okay, mm -hmm. now it's you don't have to repeat the same word uh, all again, so it should be precisely five, yeah, Diana? So the keywords are after all, right, all spill, how much recovered, mm -hmm. all right? Okay, so you don't you can always keep the word all there, right. Shakika, yeah? Right, there. Okay, now the next one, what are the keywords? Go question number three, come on, mm -hmm. guys. Let's do Can this. I give a try, Adam? Yes, Adam, all what right. are the keywords, Adam? Okay, what's for number three? What global population 2050? Yes, what global population 2050? Mm -hmm. All right, okay, good job, Adam. Right. So now let us proceed to question number four. I'm sure it's Fatin. <laughs> All right, ah, Fatin. Okay, Fatin, it it's your turn. You haven't done it yet. Okay, what's your keywords, Fatin? My keywords are how much water on the planet. All right, I think we can skip on. Mm -hmm. We can skip the, just take the crucial ones, the important ones. How much water? Planet. planet. That's it. All right, mm -hmm. as long as you understand the keywords. All right, last but not least, what are the keywords, guys? Come on. Question five. Last one. Can I give a try, Madam? Yes, Diana. What are the keywords, Diana? Um, the keywords are... <laughs> <laughs> Look okay. at the question. Which is worse for the environment? All right. So the keywords would um, be. I'm sorry. All right. Look I at think... the question now. Let me help you, Diana. Mm -hmm. So the keywords are which worse environment. Now it's okay. All right. This is a reality. What happens in class? You might like um, a, a little bit. Yeah. It's yeah. okay. All right. So now, having said that, let us listen sorry, to the audio. It's okay, Diana. All right, now let us listen to the audio and start jotting down the keywords from the audio, guys. All right? So let us begin. All right. Listen. B. Now listen to part of a radio program and check your answers. Welcome back. It's time for the answers to last week's quiz. Jenny is here with me to reveal all. Let's see how you did at home. It was quite tricky, Jenny. It certainly was. Let's get cracking with the first question. How long does it take for a plastic bottle to biodegrade? What do you think, Tom? I think they take forever. So I say 5,000 to 10,000 years. Well, plastic bottles have only been around for 50 years, so we don't know for sure. But scientists believe that it will take a lot more than 500 years 
even as much as a thousand. It also depends on where it's left for all that time. I see. Maybe I'll get the next one right. Okay. Question two was about the amount of oil that can be recovered after an oil spill. I hope the answer is more than 60%, but I doubt it is. I'm afraid it isn't, and it's much less than half. In fact, they would be very lucky if they cleaned up 15%, and usually it's much less than that. And the rest of the oil? It is absorbed by the environment, killing marine life and seabirds. They try to use chemicals called dispersants to help break down the oil, but many people believe these can do more damage than the oil itself. It's always very sad to see an oil spill. What about the next question? Question three was what will the global population be in 2050? Ah, I know this one. At present, the world population is about 7.5 billion, but it will rise even more to about 10 billion in 2050. That's correct. And scientists consider overpopulation to be one of the worst environmental problems. Just how many human beings can this planet support? Absolutely. And this is linked to the next question. How much water is there on the planet? There must be less than the amount that existed 1,000 years ago because of overpopulation, am I right? Not exactly. It's important to understand what exactly is going on. You see, there is the same amount of water on Earth as there has always been. Apart from a few astronauts taking a tiny bit on space journeys, water stays on the planet in some form. However, because of issues such as pollution and overpopulation, there is less of it available to drink. That was a tricky question. Maybe it was. Anyway, here's the last one. Which activity is worse for the environment? Well, I think you're trying to trick me here too. So I'm not going to say driving a car. Is it buying non-organic food? Actually, it's neither of the two. What? Having a dog? How can that be true? Just think. A dog eats a lot of meat, and that meat has to be farmed. Some experts from New Zealand say that this gives it a larger carbon footprint than having a car. Amazing. Right, let's move on to this week. All right, mm -hmm. that's about it. Now, yes. let us ask our friends back here who wants to answer the first question. Anyone in the house, mm -hmm. give it a shot. All right. Can I answer, Miriam? Yes, Faisal. Okay. Now, what's your best choice, Faisal? My, my answer is B. 500 until 1,000 years. All right. Now, Faisal, I just want to ask and double check with you. Did you notice that there were two options mentioned in the audio? Yes. What was the it? The first time I heard C has 5,000 until 10,000 years. Second time I heard B. So I just be with them. Exactly. Mm. So girls and boys, remember, the first time heard can be C, the second time heard can be B. So you have to double check when you come to the second round. Now, the second question, anyone in the house, give it a shot. Right, what's the best answer? Time. Can I give a try, madam? Yes, Diana. What's your best answer, Diana? The answer is A. Less than 15%. Exactly, Diana. Now, let us proceed to question number three. Anyone in the house? Can I try, Adam? Yes, right. Adam. So, what's your best choice, Adam? My best choice is C, just under 10 billion. Exactly, C, just under 10 billion. It, this question is a little bit confusing because there are figures. Mm -hmm. When it comes to figures, guys, you have to slow down, all right? A, okay. a bit of maths. <laughs> exactly. So, the next question, anyone wants to give it a try? What's the best answer? Question, question number four. Number four. Can I can I answer, madam? Yes, Fatin. What's your best choice, Fatin? My answer is the same as one 1,000 years ago. Exactly. Mm. The answer is C. Spot on, Fatin. Last but not least, we have come to the last question. Anyone in the house wish to give it a shot? Yes. Anyone? Can I give a try, madam? Yes, Diana. Over to you. What's the best answer? The answer is B. Having a pet. 
Yes, but Diana, did you also remember and did you hear that there were a few options mentioned in the audio? What were they? Yes, first time mentioned was C, buying food that isn't organic. Exactly. But the second time was mentioned B, having a pet. So the answer is B, having a pet. Good wow. job, Diana. Shafika, this yes. is a reminder to all. Sometimes they can even hear all three options mentioned mm -hmm. in the audio. Mm -hmm. So that's why, guys, you need to stay focused and start jotting down when it comes to the first round. Don't screw up. Mm -hmm. So that was the end of our third segment. So good job, people. G double O D J O B. Good job. Good job. Good job, guys. Okay. That was a great job indeed. And okay. we'll be going for a short break first. But we have more to come and learn after this. So stay tuned on Diddy TV KPM. TV KPM And I don't want to miss a thing <laughs> Ah, and there you go. For this class, you should not miss a thing for our English lesson today because there's a lot to share. But I'll leave it to Madam Faraliza to talk more about that, Madam. Thank you, Thank Shafika. You mm -hmm. Well, girls, boys, viewers out there, we have come to our last segment, which is very challenging. You know why, Shafika? Why is it? This section will be similar to the paper four, section four, which is the most challenging part ever. Why is that? Stay tuned. Mm -hmm. All right. Now turn to page 101 of your textbook. All right. Okay. So let me just go very briefly before the audio. So these are the things that you have to execute. And this is the first round, the same thing that I've mentioned earlier. The first round. And last but not least will be the second round, which is the most important part for you to get the right answer. Okay. So you can just look at the screen. And now we shall begin with the question from page 101. Mm -hmm. Now, Shafika, why is it difficult? Why? Because the pupils out there, they need to only choose one word. Just one? Just one. And if they screw up and if they are lost while listening to the audio, it's done. It's mm -hmm. done. They will just write whatever words that come into their mind. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, so before I begin, all right, these are the things that you have to take note, guys. Now, for question Page 101, Section 4, similar to your paper for listening. Now, you need to make sure you circle the keywords. Now, keywords need to be circled or draw a box. It's either or. And you must have this reminder, Shafika. Mm -hmm. Now, this reminder needs to be drawn a line. Why? Because this will be the best hint that students normally ignore. Okay. They don't bother and this will be the best reminder to get the best answer, mm -hmm. all right? So these two symbols are crucial, guys. The circle for the keywords and the line for your reminders. Mm -hmm. Now, before we begin, as usual, let us ask our friends back here on the keywords of each question. Come, are you guys ready? If you're ready, show me double thumbs up. Ready, guys, all okay. right. All right, come, I love the energy. Now, can you please give me the keywords for the first question? But Shafika, mm -hmm. before I forget, yeah. the students need to read the situation up there. Make sure you guys read the question so that you can prepare mentally on what to expect, mm -hmm. all right? Okay, come guys, the first question, what are the first sentence, the first question, what are the keywords? Anyone wants to give it a shot? Anyone? The Can I give a shot, madam? Yes, Diana. What are the keywords? My answer are Mount Kinabalu and Hai. All right. Keywords Mount Kinabalu, Hai. All right. So you will expect to hear figures, numbers, mm -hmm. right, of the height. Yep. Okay, good. So Mount Kinabalu and Hai. Okay, now what about the next one? Anyone in Can the house I wants try, to. Madam? Yes, Fatin. What the are the keywords one. for the second one, Fatin? Uh, the keywords are Petronas Tower, World's Highest Building. Very good. 
Petronas Tower, world's highest building. All right? Mm. Okay, good job, Fatin. Okay, now let's go to the next question. What are the keywords, guys? First round, circle the keywords before the audio. Again? Yes, Adam. My keywords are visitor, go to and enjoy. Visitors go to and also enjoy. So they don't have to circle Petronas Towers again because mm -hmm. it's definitely a repetition. All right. All right. So visitors go to. All right. Now the next one. Can I have anyone who wants to give it a shot? What are your keywords for the next question? Can I give it a shot, madam? Yes, Faisal. What are the keywords, Faisal? The keywords are remain close and afternoon. Remain close. Afternoon. So these are the three crucial words. All right. Good mm -hmm. job, Faisal. All right. Now we have come to the last keywords for the last question. Anyone in the house? Okay. Can I answer, madam? Yes, Fatin. I've been waiting for you to answer. So what are the keywords, Fatin? My keywords are nasi lemak, consist, mm. coconut milk. Nasi lemak. Oh, you guys just had nasi lemak this morning, right? <laughs> okay. So nasi lemak. Uh, consists uh, coconut milk. All right. Now, girls and boys, look at the blue lines that I will show you guys to indicate the reminders. Mm -hmm. All right. So this will be the reminders. Shafika, mm -hmm. the reminders are always a word before and after the blank. Oh. All right. So, so these are the reminders. Hi. This is um, from until. Mm -hmm. All right, floor, off, cooked. cooked. All right? Mm -hmm. All right, that's it. All right. Now, girls and boys, viewers out there, before we start answering, having our friends back here to share us their answers from the reminders and the keywords, let us listen to the audio. Enjoy listening. Stay focused. Mm -hmm. B. Listen to the rest of the radio program and complete the sentences. Part 2. Malaysia is divided into two parts, Peninsula Malaysia and the island of Borneo. Peninsula Malaysia is the western part of the country, and it includes Tanjung Pi, which is the southernmost point of mainland Asia. Borneo, which is the eastern part of the country, includes Malaysia's highest mountain, Mount Kinabalu, at 4,095 metres, and one of the largest caves in the world, Sarawak Chamber, with an area of over 164,000 square meters. Malaysia has a wide variety of animals and plants as a result of its climate and the rainforest that covers a large part of the country. Thousands of different species of plants and animals are found in Malaysia, including the rare plant Rafflesia, which is found only in Borneo and Sumatra, and the proboscis monkey, which is endangered. One of the main tourist attractions in Malaysia is definitely the Petronas Twin Towers in Kuala Lumpur, the world's tallest twin towers. They are about 452 meters tall and they have 88 floors each. Their construction was completed in 1998 and until 2004 they were the highest buildings in the world. The Petronas Towers are very popular with tourists and if you visit them you'll certainly see why. Among other things, they offer a breathtaking view of Kuala Lumpur from the observation deck on the 86th floor. They are open Tuesday to Sunday from 9 in the morning to 9 in the evening, except Fridays when they close in the afternoon from 1 to half past 2. A fascinating country indeed, with beautiful scenery, but that's not all. Those who visit must try some of the local dishes, which reflect Malay, Chinese and Indian cuisine. We recommend nasi lemak, which is rice cooked in coconut milk, traditionally served with boiled egg, peanuts, vegetables and a chilli sauce. A simple dish, but delicious. Another thing you shouldn't miss is traditional Malaysian theatre. Whether you want to watch a puppet show or a live performance which includes dancing, acting and singing, you are sure to find something to interest you. That was a pretty long text. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, because this is the most challenging section, mm -hmm. we will about to hear the audio, the second round. All right, guys? All right. So you can just double check your answers that you have heard in the first round. So we shall proceed to the second round, guys. Stay focused and continue jotting down the keywords. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, one more time, guys. All right. B. 
Listen to the rest of the radio program and complete the sentences. Part 2 Malaysia is divided into two parts, Peninsular Malaysia and the island of Borneo. Peninsular Malaysia is the western part of the country and it includes Tanjung Pi, which is the southernmost point of mainland Asia. Borneo, which is the eastern part of the country, includes Malaysia's highest mountain, Mount Kinabalu, at 4,095 metres, and one of the largest caves in the world, Sarawak Chamber, with an area of over 164,000 square metres. Malaysia has a wide variety of animals and plants as a result of its climate and the rainforest that covers a large part of the country. Thousands of different species of plants and animals are found in Malaysia, including the rare plant Rafflesia, which is found only in Borneo and Sumatra, and the proboscis monkey, which is endangered. One of the main tourist attractions in Malaysia is definitely the Petronas Twin Towers in Kuala Lumpur, the world's tallest twin towers. They are about 452 metres tall, and they have 88 floors each. Their construction was completed in 1998, and until 2004 they were the highest buildings in the world. The Petronas Towers are very popular with tourists, and if you visit them you'll certainly see why. Among other things, they offer a breathtaking view of Kuala Lumpur from the observation deck on the 86th floor. They are open Tuesday to Sunday from 9 in the morning to 9 in the evening, except Fridays when they close in the afternoon from 1 to half past 2. A fascinating country indeed, with beautiful scenery, but that's not all. Those who visit must try some of the local dishes, which reflect Malay, Chinese and Indian cuisine. We recommend nasi lemak, which is rice cooked in coconut milk, traditionally served with boiled egg, peanuts, vegetables and a chilli sauce. A simple dish, but delicious. Another thing you shouldn't miss is traditional Malaysian theatre. Whether you want to watch a puppet show or a live performance which includes dancing, acting and singing, you are sure to find something to interest you. Right. All right, that was the end of our second round, girls and boys. Mm -hmm. So now, let us proceed to answering the first question. Who can that be? Anyone in the house wants to try and give it a shot? Anyone? Right. Can I give a try, madam? Yes, Diana. What's your answer for the first one, Diana? The answer is 4,065. Exactly. Spot on. 4,065. Mm -hmm. Good job, Diana. Yeah. All right, now, the second question. Anyone in the house wants to give it a shot? Anyone? Can I answer, madam? Yes, Fatin. What's your answer, Fatin? My answer is 1998. Yes, 1998. Good job, Good Fatin. Job. Good job. Okay. Now, question number three. Who can that be? Share me your answer. Anyone? Can I try, Madam? Yes, Ada. What's your answer, Adam? My answer is 86. All right. Now, how do you write your answer? 86 or you're going to spell the word? Which one? 86. Aha. Uh Aha, -huh. uh -huh, Shafika. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Noted, guys. Now, when you look at the reminder, which mm -hmm. is floor, the answer should not be written 86, but mm -hmm. you should also add in TH. Mm. Now, this is why oh, you no, need... my bad. Ah, okay, Adam. All right. So, when the word is floor, as your reminder, don't write 86. You got the right answer, but you miss out TH, you will lose marks. Oh, All right? no. Good job, Adam. All right. Mm -hmm. Next next Thank time, you. next practice, try not to repeat the same mistake. Okay, Adam? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, now, we have come to the next question. Anyone in the house wants to give it a shot? The, the question, question number four. Mm -hmm. Can I answer with them? Yes, uh, Faizal. What is the answer, Faizal? The answer is Friday. Friday? How do you spell the answer? How do you spell the word Friday, Faizal? F-R-I-D-A-Y, Friday. Hmm, aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh aha. -huh. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> Did you hear that the audio mentioned Fridays? Yes, on every With an Friday. S. Mm -hmm. So what happens if Faizal misses the word S. It'll only be one Friday. So it will be a totally wrong answer. Mm -hmm. So Faisal, the best answer should be F-R-I-D-A-Y-S. Got it, Faisal? Yes. 
All Good. Right. So listen carefully next time. Good job, Faisal. All right. Now, right. the last question. Anyone in the house? Mm -hmm. I think it's Fatin. All right, I Fatin. I love you. Okay, come, Fatin. What's the answer, Fatin? <laughs> Uh, my answer is rice and vegetables. All right, my answers are rice cooked in coconut milk and vegetables. Very good, mm -hmm. Fatin. So having said that, we have come to the end of our segment four. And you guys were awesome. And let's chill one more time. G-O-O-D-J-O-B. Good, good job. job. Good, good job. job. Good, good job, 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 guys. All right. All right. That was great. Now, yes. Madam, uh, perhaps a brief conclusion for our class today. Definitely. I have to say that all four of you, you stayed focused and you had some mistakes done. But never mind, that's a learning process. Making mistakes will make you a better student in the near future. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure there will be rooms of improvements mm -hmm. and you guys were super. All right, we have double <laughs> thumbs up. Good job, All everybody, right. as Good Madam Good uh, said Good just job. now. Now, uh, perhaps for those watching at home, where can they access to do extra revisions for themselves? All right, girls, boys, viewers out there, for mm -hmm. any extra revisions, you can always refer and ref uh, to Portal the Lima. All right, right. And okay. There you go. Don't forget, do your revisions and do extra exercises to master your skills in listening. All right. Yes. Thank you, Madam Farliza, for. For sharing your knowledge together with us today and not to forget our sign language interpreter teacher Lina. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned to DDT for more learning and fun. We'll be back for more after this so stay tuned. Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. Bye! Bye! All right, madam, now let's play a game. Okay, I'm Who super, super excited. has to ring the bell? All right. Okay. Super let's excited. Listen. Okay. Listen carefully. Why is nature called the mother nature? <laughs> Why is it? Um, I think because nature is always a mother of life, of a sustainable life. Oh, yes. okay. Bring it next. on. What's the next one? I want the next one. Okay. What should I do after flood? I should do some cleanup. I should help our neighbors clean up their homes. Yes. I should clean my home. <laughs> Spot on. <laughs> All right. Okay. Next. Bring it on. What's the next question? What should you do during flood? <laughs> you were so fast. All right, you have to stay calm. Mm -hmm. Don't get panic, and try to get help from anyone. Okay, good. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>